Hello everyone, this is Melody over here. You're watching Spiritual Explorer 1111. I woke up not too long ago and I feel cold to do this reading. It's just going to be a quick update channeled message from your future spouse. I'm still trying to tr clean up the data on my phone because I don't want to like read like over an hour and it's not going to record so what i'm going to do possibly let's let's tap in let's see like what's the important message that you needed to hear from your future spouse if you are curious channeled message from your future spouse pile one heart pile two compass pile three butterfly pick your choices and my air is on so i'm sorry about that but pick your choices Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for those who's going to pick pile heart, compass, and butterfly. Spirit guides, can we ask please channel message from our future spouse or our life partner and significant other? This is message from our future spouse, spirit guides. Thank you very much guidance please protection and blessing okay so for those who feel gravitated to pile one let's go ahead and see like some kind of energy update or what can we see what universe wants you to know what is your future spouse thinking right now or what do they want to tell you right now okay so what does your future spouse wants to tell you pile heart seven of swords i'm sorry if i have hurt you i'm sorry if i have ghosted you i am so sorry if i'm staying quiet right now because i know that i have done something wrong or if i still have to get to know you just be a little bit patient because i'm trying to figure out what i am what the mistakes in my life and i know that i am not happy i feel empty with all these toxic connections before me but i i i, I still need to work on on these issues right now because i i don't know why i was doing to myself but i need to work on it for the moment so that's what your future spouse is trying to say if they if you have connected with this person if they ghosted you if they have hurt you so this is a person kind of like playing the field right now like a person who doesn't want any commitment but also a person who's possibly choose like some other connections rather than you maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side if you have connected with this person but if this person you do not know yet well this person could be like a like a, a player type like non-commitment foe they don't know what they want but they're trying to say that they're working on themselves right now so let's find out um i'm seeing Li libra gemini aquarius magician yeah this person your future spouse is trying to say i need to i am manifesting you in my life but i also need to come true with my promise that i'm not going to break my promise to you i am hearing i am feeling that you are calling for me i i knew that you are waiting for me i know that you want me to be in your life and I can hear you, I can feel you. I am currently making the path or I'm trying to find my way to you right now. So that's the message from your future spouse. Maybe they have, they have been connecting with toxic connections in the past and then now they, they've they had enough. So they, they're working now with them their higher souls and the universe that they're going to find a way their way to you so 
that's what I could understand. Let's understand. Spirit guys, what what others? Okay. Knight of Coins, yeah. I knew it. Your future spouse is trying to say, I need more time. Be a, a little bit more patient and understanding. But the Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles, is slow and steady, wins the race. So it's a long time coming for you, pile one that you have been waiting manifesting for your future spouse but see someone is manifesting you i am feeling like a very strong divine masculine here trying to uh sorry that was like some kind of hair sorry about that but um yeah message here that maybe this person has been working hard a lot and needing to make time for you maybe they were trying to make promises and then never really come true with a promise that they're going to spend time with you or they're going to like like find a way to to work on this connection okay so so let's see let's find out more so your future spouse trying to say be patient because they are currently working on themselves trying to heal themselves and trying to find a way towards you right now yeah because look they know that you are waiting you know they know that you are feeling invested this is you divine feminine you are investing emotionally physically spiritually waiting physically waiting for your future husband future spouse to manifest in your life physically the sun okay so see your future spouse is trying to find the pathway the illumination they're being guided by their higher self their their guardian angels and universe to to find you okay because it, when the sun comes in your update that means happiness all this darkness all this mistake in the past is going to disappear whatever challenges and obstacles that your future spouse and you are currently going through right now so anyway i'm seeing taurus virgo capricorn leo aries sagittarius so what else is very guys palace of cups yep it's just a matter of time that this person is going to come in your life and going to say that they love you very much that they have very strong feelings for you it's just a matter of time that this person is going to express how much they love you very very much because look this person is trying to say i know that you are out there waiting for me and i know that my happiness is with you i am so sorry if i have lost my way but i'm going to be coming back to you you are my home you are my peace you are my soulmate you are the one I see in my life. So that's what your future spouse is trying to say. So anyway, that's what I could... Um, your future spouse is aware that you are out there waiting, manifesting, and praying that they're going to like see that you they're going to see you something like that you okay so anyway what else is there guys my love is true yeah this time around your future spouse is trying to say when they're going to come back to you their love is true do not doubt their love for you love at first sight destiny and first meeting so for some of you who haven't met this person yet it's just a matter of time that destiny and universe is going to bring you two together so so there's going to be like love at first sight or this kind of feeling like have you known each other in the past because something like that like that sense of familiarity because you've spent past lives past lives together in like past life connection do not question my love for you i tell you do not question my love for you do not question my love for you i am true and what is what are they trying to tell you their love for you is true so if you are waiting for this person to communicate with you or to meet this person for the first time then expect communication expect first meeting expect like a pop-up from this person because see they're trying to realize now that all along it is you who they really want all along their feelings for you are true and real 
so anyway what else transformation yeah because they have to go through this transformation or some kind of enlightenment which is the sun here in your energy they have to see that kind of illumination to really to make them realize your value in their life so they have to go through this kind of darkness this kind of mistakes so well like um, an energy of uh, masculine going through their spiritual awakening okay see courage because now this person maybe they weren't strong enough to tell you how they feel for you in the past maybe in the past they didn't fought for you or if you do not know this person yet then this person is trying to come out of the shadows coming they're going to come out of their darkness because they want to find you they want you in their life yeah because you are their peace you are their paradise you give them balance harmony and love you are each other's shelter from the storm like a safe haven like you and this person against the world because you believe in each other and and um yeah because you belong to each other that's how it's supposed to be you're like the yin to i mean you're like the yin to their young something like that like because i'm seeing yin and yang okay so what i could understand for you pal one is your future spouse is currently going through their transformation and their changes but they are on their way to you that's what they're trying to say and their love for you is true okay so that's just one two three thank you very much and i feel gravitate to um pile compass this is my personal choice possibly my personal energy or if you gravitate to pile compass welcome let's go since i would gravitate to pile compass could be personal my personal energy or the energy of our collective spiritual explorer 1111 but you know i just to just to have fun like i also want to pick <laughs> whatever but anyway okay so for those who pick pile compass let's go what is the channel message from our future spouse life partner significant other what do they want us to know okay so let's go spirit guys what our future spouse wants us to know knight of coins knight of coins is someone who is dependable loyal like sometimes this person has to think before they even have like they need to plan they need to think they need to organize their thoughts or their plans this person also works hard a lot but very handsome mysterious huh. knight of coins taurus virgo capricorn okay there they could also be saying that be patient my love because i know that i needed to make time for you I know that I need to make you a priority. I'm working on it. I know you're feeling impatient. You've been waiting for me. Or your future spouse could also be trying to say, I am waiting for someone like you. And in the past, I was just numbing myself. Possibly like burying myself to work because I felt some emptiness. I feel like a void deep inside me that I couldn't even put my finger into. So that's what I was doing. I just said, I'm okay. I burned myself at work and trying to tell the world I don't have time to do this, do that. But the truth is, I want you. The truth is, I'm looking for you. I, the truth is, I want you in my life. I want someone I want someone like you in my life who's going to give meaning in my life. Okay, so wow, your future spouse is really deep, pile two. <laughs> oh, I picked pile two too. So okay, so thank you, Spirit Guides. I tell you, I want you in my life because I am wishing, manifesting and praying for someone like you. 
I am dreaming about you. I am dreaming of a connection that I that that could understand me. I am dreaming of a connection that really makes me happy because I don't know what I have done, but for some reason everything in my past is just doesn't cut anymore. Like I am really like I I can feel you in my soul, and my soul knows you are out there. So, but but then when I come home and then you're not there and I feel lonely, I feel empty and I keep looking for you. My soul just really craves for you. So this is what your future spouse is trying to say. And I feel like your future spouse, their heart, their heart only belongs to you because this is a energy of someone who's very single right now. Okay. A person who possibly likes to surround themselves with beautiful things i am feeling like a very abundant and luxurious energy so this is a person who's like trying to tell the world that they're okay but then deep inside i already told you they're looking for you their soul is craving for you they are looking for like soulmate or love or like someone who's going to make them happy so anyway, let's see um, what well, your future spouse is. Yeah, Three of Swords. Wow, Three of Swords is like someone suffering through heartache and losses. Maybe this is you, feminine. You went through some heartache and losses in the past or currently in the moment. Maybe you're currently going through your healing phase you're you're trying to come out of the cocoon or possibly you're feeling trapped in there so anyway so your future spouse is trying to say their their soul is awake their soul is craving for you but where are you at i feel like you are putting barriers and barricades like let this person in your heart because this person wants to come in your life I mean what are you doing I feel like there's barricades here so it feels like you're um, okay maybe you have trust issues spell too but this person is trying to say let me in there's a masculine trying to say to the feminine, please, please let me in. Something like that. Yeah, Seven of Cups. There's some very strong fantasy here. Because Seven of Cups is something about fantasy, dreams, illusion, some obsession. Okay, so who's obsessed here, Spirit guys? Okay, so I'm picking up Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so anyway, there could be a message here for, for you, pile two, that your future spouse could be obsessed with you, or you are obsessed with this person, or you are both thinking about each other. Or there's something about you that this person just knows that you are very special to them. But this is a person who's really dreaming. Look, there's like a message here. I am dreaming about you. And this connection is very strong on the astral level or, or the spiritual plane. So right now you are, I feel like, seems like your connection is wanting to manifest in reality so because you're both trapped thinking about each other obsessing about each other so anyway yeah look the sun comes in here there's a very strong passion you make each other really happy there's illumination here so i really think you're going to make each other happy and you really want to like manifest this physical connection so i think you will because the the sun is a powerful yes whatever the doubts in here whatever the losses and the heartache in the past going to disappear because the light is here maybe it didn't work in, 
with anyone in the past because you're meant to be together. Sometimes universe works in mysterious ways and maybe that's how love is sometimes. You have to clear negative karmic pattern. So to know and to make way really for the one true person. So for the for your one and only. Okay, so your future spouse is trying to say it would really make me happy to have you in my life. It would really make me happy to be able to hold you, to hug you, to kiss you, to to really talk to you and to have you right with me right now. That's what I am feeling from your future spouse. So your future spouse really wants to hug and kiss you and love you much more than you can even expect. So what else is very nice? Thank you. Okay, one moment. Yeah, the 999. I tell you, you are leaving behind your wall. Let this person in because this person is trying to say, I want to offer you so much more security, love, happiness if you are going to let me because you are here i know you are in pain there's a feminine here she's working through her healing and shadow work and um you're kind of feeling hopeless right now feminine because i feel like you're you're blinded right now you do not see this person coming your way or maybe there's a person knocking in your heart and you're kind of like you do not see. So so now this person's trying to say, let me in. I want to love you. I want to be with you. I want you in my life. So you have to like come out of this darkness. Okay, feminine. So anyway, you're both single. You're, you're ready. Say you're ready. I'll to... Yeah, Knight of Swords. Someone wants to come in and sweep you off your feet. Oh my God, the Knight of Swords is like a hero, like a knight in shining armor. So, just want to sweep you off your feet and then, you know, whatever the gossip, the drama, don't even care. It's you and this person together, together forever and ever. <laughs> oh my God. I know there's a lot of healing to do, but universe wants you to to be open, to have the green light. Because look, open your heart to love. Because this person coming towards you, you're very intuitive anyway, but you're kind of doubting your intuition. Look, this person loves you very, very much. They wanna offer you stability, security. That's what I can understand. Okay, so I had to clarify feminine you have to step into your every queen and keep your vibration higher because right now you're in the three of source and nine of source you're doubting overthinking over worrying take care of you be kind to yourself okay be gentle okay so what your future spouse wants to say to you your future spouse is trying to tell you they love you very much so there could be really distance between you so there's going to be traveling involved maybe your future spouse has to fly to you Maybe they travel around a lot for work right now, but there could be geography or distance between you. So anyway, um, no distance, no space, no time is going to separate you if you're truly meant to be together. But your future spouse is trying to say, let this person in because I don't think this person even wants to be separated from you. So what now? You are my sweetest pumpkin <laughs> pumpkin pie. This person is trying to say that you they really think you're very sweet. And something about autumn. Maybe you're going to see this person this autumn season. I don't know. Why I feel like this person is trying to say, let me in, let me in. <laughs> okay, so what else is what else your future you are the one i tell you cinderella your knight in shining armor your prince and your emperor is here you are the one and they see you as the one look because <laughs> possibly you run away and then this person okay your prince and your emperor is looking for you and they have the, the missing shoe <laughs> they're looking for you they're looking for you all over the place okay and that's what they're trying to say you are the one so 
Wow. This person never really doubted it, that you were the one. Maybe subconsciously or whatever, they always know that they are, they want you in their life, whatever mistake they have been through in the past, but they already acknowledge that, that it doesn't make them happy. It makes them feel empty and that they were numbing themselves. So, so now that's why you were in this journey, but you have to let this person in your life, in your heart, okay? So that's what they're trying to say. Renewal. Renewal could be rebirth, refresh, revive, high vibration, like forget the past. Maybe this is what your future spouse wants to give to you. New beginning, new life, new cycle, love. Because I feel like this is what you are trying to say right now. Please love me. <laughs> Please love me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the yin and the yang. You are manifesting union. The dark and the light. The light and the shadows. You balance out each other. But for the good. Because this is what you are going to bring towards each other. Healing. Renewal. Revival. <laughs> refresh. Okay, so, um, and union. Oh my God, renewal is healing. Like, like a refreshing of energies. And then the yin and yang is also about union and healing. So, you could be in the twin flame, higher level soulmate, soulmate journey, forgiveness, yeah. Forgiveness is also about healing the past. Letting go of what no longer serves you. Like, it feels like this is a message like, be together. Don't, don't worry about the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Be kind to yourself. Let me get another one. Thank you. Celebration. Yeah, because now is the time for you to be happy. Don't worry about what happened in the past. The past is now behind you. Worry about what is to come today, tomorrow, and the future. Now that you're together, be up. Like if you're going to really, when you are going to really find each other, then be happy and be feel blessed that you found each other. And you know, like, yeah, you found each, you're going to find each other because you love each other very much. Not everyone is going to find that that happiness and that love within each other and but if but when you are going to find each other and you're going to have the opportunity why not okay so spirit guide says you have every chance to be happy as well celebration wedding marriage union okay so thank you so i feel like this is what your future spouse is trying to tell you let me in your heart let me in your life. I am here. So, feminine, you are someone losing confidence, feeling like you do not know where you need to be. But anyway, your future spouse trying to say they never left you. They're here for you. Okay, so welcome, pile butterfly, to those who gravitated to pile butterfly. What your future spouse wants to say to you. This is just going to be like a quick update, important message from your future spouse. Okay, I am ready, Spirit, guys. What pile butterfly? Oh my God, six of wands that I see you. You think you have a lot of competition, but I only have eyes for you. So, the Six of Wands is someone attractive, sexy, hot, could be a public figure, could be someone who's very successful, well-established, well-respected, and um, well-admired by others. So, this is the Six of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So, this is a very, very, very handsome and attractive and sexy person, okay? So, let's see. But also Six of Wands is like someone who has a lot of awards. Um, a 
and very successful. Okay, so a very creative, very talented, a warrior. So this person is very competitive and uh, likes to win. So sorry, I'm not going to take all of that. Spirit gets too many cards. Can I have what your future spouse wants to say to you? <laughs> your future spouse is trying to say, like, they see you. That's why I only have eyes for you. I wish I already said. Okay, so you might be seeing. You might be saying is saying that it's too good to be true. Eight of Wands, and I'm very attracted to you. So this person has a very strong fire energy in their chart. They're not necessarily that they are a fire sign, but this person is trying to say no matter what blockages between us, distance or anything. Nothing is going to stop me from coming towards you. I really, really am passionate about you. So I am picking like a very strong sexual, sensual connection here. Your future spouse possibly has seen you somewhere or something like that. And then they're really passionate about you. So um, very attracted to you physically. Or there's something more about you because they're willing to go to the ends of the earth <laughs> to really like see you to find you okay maybe this is a message if you do not know this person yet then this person is trying to say I'm going to travel the world to find you I'm going to travel the world to see you and I'm willing to go to the ends of the earth to to find you so anyway, I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's what they're trying to say anyway. Palace of Cups, yes. We keep seeing this Palace of Cups. It's a very strong spiritual connection. So this person is looking for their other half, their soulmate connection. So don't just be assuming that this person could be successful, hot, attractive, sexy, that they can have anything they want. No, this person is not that shallow. This person is also looking for someone they can connect with in all level, not just physical, but also spiritual, emotional, and like all that kind of romantic stuff. This person thinks about that too, because look, they're hopeless romantic. So I'm seeing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so anyway, they have a lot of emotions and love for you. Or maybe they have been dreaming for someone like you all their life. Although this person, okay, has their fair share of like, you know, falling in love, falling out of love. But because they were searching for, for a love like yours, okay? So anyway, they have a lot of love to give. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness see the wheel of fortune i can tell you this person is trying to say no distance no differences no nothing is going to divide us i mean not even like your status or anything like if you are someone who's introverted and they are extrovert or you're someone living a quiet life and then they kind of like in the public eye this person doesn't care about that this person wants you they see so much more than the world can ever see it doesn't really matter because what's important is how this person feels when you are around them how you make this person feel when you when when they think about you you make them think about hope they might you make them think about love i feel like this is the wheel of fortune you bring each other so much happiness so much good luck so much abundance and um stability and security and yeah, palace of coins, See, exactly, home. Palace of coins is like you are both wanting to have to, to ground yourself, to have family, to, to uh, be together, to belong towards each other, to come home to each other. Palace of coins that, that you're, you don't wanna be separated from each other. Like, I feel like if this person is going to find you or going to be with you you're going to be inseparable this person is not going to let you go not even maybe there's going to be travel or relocation here because there's this travel here 
but this person really wants to ground ground you with them <laughs> like this person wants you to come home to them so i don't think this person wants you to be separated from them they're going to take you anywhere <laughs> or they they want you to come home to them because i'm seeing castle palace so anyway and the will whatever the movement in here whatever they're going through in life they want you to be part of it so this person is really loving or this person's just really in love with you pile three. Oh my god yeah well this person has went through some changes as well okay like rebirth maybe this person also sh suffering from their shadows or uh fears insecurity they don't want to be alone that's what they're trying to say so th when this person is going to find someone like you they're never going to let you go because not that they're insecure but because they recognize something in you like 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 you are someone they cannot live without okay because this person really recognize you as their soulmate as their soul connection because this person has been fighting for you as well so anyway i think this person your future spouse is possibly currently going through their shadow work dark night of the soul emptiness in their life see this person is trying to say my life is so empty without you on it and i don't want to and then they're trying to say they don't want to make mistakes and connecting with toxic connection just to find out that that there's nothing there because they're not you okay so something like that so when this person's really going to find you then they're really going to hold on to you <laughs> so, so just give this person a chance to express their feelings and to like be in your life okay ten of swords Someone needing to recharge, someone needing to embark on new beginnings. So both of you need healing right now, like deep emotional healing. And more so I'm picking up like a masculine energy. They went to their battle. Maybe this person is fighting through their personal darkness, personal demons right now. So maybe this is what you're going to bring into this person's life. Peace, love, healing, home companionship friendship someone who understands them i mean you might think like this person will not be short of female companions or whatever but don't be surprised i mean you'll be surprised because this person is looking much more than that okay this person is not looking for one night stand or like an easy fling or something this person has been looking for their forever forever partner okay but of course nothing is perfect so they have to go through the journey you have to go through the, the journey but this person is being honest with you okay that they don't want to live this life without you so they're they're they really want you to be with them see because they you've been manifesting for this connection anyway i mean it's not easy with your love journey but hard work will pay off eventually if you're both going to make the effort then this connection is going to manifest in reality okay there's no more waiting in vain because you're both working on it like every mistake every failure in the past is just leading you towards each other closer towards each other so it's all a blessing in this guys okay so anyway, um, yeah, this person really is trying to say, I, I want to come home to you. So anyway, what else your future spouse wants to say to you? I tell you, you're the one. Because you're the one they see that they want to come home to. Okay? So you are the one. Because like I said, they see you. They only have eyes for you. See? This is your emperor. Like you're like you went to the castle and then you run away. But this person 
is saying they're going to come after you no matter where you're going to be hello mr right your wedding is very near kisses and hugs oh my god look see mr right is going to come after you and have sincere intentions and there's the rings <laughs> commitment saying your wedding is near oh my god so maybe this is going to be a real wind romance the universe will bring us together i tell you no distance, no space, no time, and I will never let you down. So this is what your future spouse is trying to say. Maybe you are scared because you think it's too good to be true, but this person is trying to say, no, don't. Don't look at them that way because they want to be, they, they want to be the one for you and you want, they want you to, to know that you are the one for them because look, you guys are meant to be. The universe is conspiring for you to be together. So give this person a chance because this is what they're trying to tell you right now. I will never hurt you. I will never let you down. I feel like this is a message that they want to give you protection, security, and with you like not feeling alone, okay? That you're not alone. So they want, they want to take you with them or something like that. So prosperity, the bridge, there's a lot of travel, there's bridge. So anyway, your worlds are not apart. I've, it's, it's, this, it's the same as the message here. The universe is going to bring you two together. No distance, no space, no time is going to like separate you. I feel like your message by one a pile three is kind of similar to pile one. Maybe you feel gravitated to pile one as well. So anyway, prosperity, good luck, abundance, but the bridge is there. So that means like meet each other halfway and there's a pathway. You're both on, you're going to find each other because the universe is going to bring, to put you both on the same path so you're going to find each other karma and whatever happened in the past maybe that's a message from universe that you've already paid your karmic debts you're already learning from your karmic lessons or karmic dues so it's all about maybe you're working on your good karma and your future spouse is also working on their shadow work or their good karma and that's the reason why universe says okay so you're both ready you learn the the life lessons and you're trying to purge out what you don't need and so let's bring you two together so you can be together in this lifetime see sincere wish will be granted that's what it means dreams do come true someone is wishing for you or your wish is about to come true transformation so you went through some changes it wasn't easy okay like i said you both have to work hard in this connection but hard work will pay off it's the same as this door before it was closed but now universe trying to say you're both ready so open sesame you're you're both ready for this connection so maybe you have to say your affirmation paltry i am ready for my soulmate i am ready for my life partner to come in my life i am ready for my future spouse i am ready for my future husband i am ready for my future wife so i'm just trying to tell you right now that that's going to be your affirmation okay abundance i tell you we're going to see it because this is what I see in your pile. What your future spouse wants to bring into your life. Security, protection, abundance, prosperity, and to make your wish and dreams come true. And a lot of healing and happiness. And for you to know that they don't want you to be alone. And also, 
for them to tell you that they don't want to live this life without you by their side okay true good and bad they want to be with you so thank you it's a very beautiful message for you pile three i really loving your message and your future spouse is so hopeless romantic very handsome very beautiful and they're willing to really fight to the ends of the earth just to be with you thank you very much my name is melody and i hope you like the reading this is what i could understand today and have a wonderful Tuesday everyone. Bye.